This video is going to focus on Boolean statements and true or false statements. And I do have another video on more basic Boolean statements, just the true false idea. Uh, for this one, though, I've already set up a class and I've set three integer variables to use so we can have some simple tests and our one Boolean. And I just want to walk through these, uh, through these different statements just to show how things are working. Uh, so, uh, if I, I'm going to output x, now currently nothing's going to happen because I need to have some tests. x doesn't equal anything, and remember x is a boolean, so it will be true or false. So I'll just walk through some quick examples here. Uh, if I want to do a boolean test, uh, I'm going to set x equal to, and now this next thing it has to be a true or false statement. And so true or false statements basically are going to be um, boolean tests, things that need to be tested. So I like to put them in parentheses simply because it, it, it reminds you that this stuff is together. So I'm going to put uh, a equals b here, a equals b. Now remember to test it. Uh, I'm going to do double equals. A double equals says, does it's a question, does A equal B? Or I guess you could think of it as a statement, A equals B. Is that true or false? And A is not equal to B. So this statement, A is equal to B, is a false statement. So when I run my, my class here, I will get false as my output because it is a test that's not true. So X is false, and we just printed false. Uh, the next one is not equal to, so if I were to put not equal to and run this, it says, run this test for me. It says A is not equal to B. A is not equal to B. That's a true statement, so now when I print this, X is going to be a, a true, and that's true. Uh, of course, I could do other tests, like I could do 2 times A is equal to B. I could use that test. It says is 2 times a equal to b? 2 times a is 5, and that's 10, so is 10 equal to 10? And if I run this, I get true, because 10 is equal to 10. Uh, and so it's not just, oh, is one variable equals one variable. There's going to be a lot more complex things. There's going to be a, some more complex things going on as you do more programming. So right now I'm just doing some very basic tests, just so we can get the logic down. Um, of course, we can do the other math operations here, or tests less than or equal to. That's what this is representing. So I go, uh, is A less than or equal to B? And 5 is less than or equal to B. So I run this one, I will get true again. And of course, we can do our greater than or equal to. And maybe this time I'll go, uh, is A greater than or equal to um, B minus 5? Okay, so is a, a is 5, is it greater than or equal to 10 minus 5? So is 5 greater than or equal to 5? And I'll run this, and that is a true statement, because th both of these sides are equal to 5, so it is less than or equal to. Now I didn't add this in my list here, but of course we can just use less than, and we can just use greater than, uh, and those are also options here. So I could test is a less than, uh, let's go with c divided by 5. Okay, so is a is 5, is it less than c divided by 5? c is 15, so this is 3. Is 5 less than 3? Nope, 5 is not less than 3, so we get a false there. Right Now, the last two are really if you want to do multiple tests. So and, the double ampersand means and, and two bars means or. So uh, this gets to be a little bit more complex. However, it's very, very common in a program because you want to test two things. You want to know if something is true and something else is true. If two things are true, then you want to run some code. Or if you wanted to use the or statement, maybe you just want to know if one of two things are true, if this or this, then I want to run some code. Okay, well, that's where these come into play. And so what I can do in my, uh, my test here is I can say, uh, is 2 times a equal to 10, double equal, because it's a test. And remember, that's a true statement. Okay, and, now I can't use and, I'm just putting it here just to show my thinking. 
and is 3 times a equal to c. And again, we have to go double equals there. So this is really just testing. Now, if I want to really truly use the English word and, I have to go double ampersand there. And that is now testing two different statements. So 2 times a is 10. Does 10 equal 10? Yes. And does 3 times 5 is 15? Does that equal 15? Yes. So I have a true statement and a true statement. So when I run this code, it says and means are they both true? Yes, they are. So notice what happens here when I change and maybe I just put a equals c. So it says, does 10 equal 10? Yeah, that's true. And does 5 equal 15? No, that's false. So remember, and means both are both true. And they are both not true. Okay, so this is going to actually evaluate to false because they are not both true. So I will get a false here. So it's very important to understand the and idea down here means everything has to be true everything true okay if everything is true then that statement will evaluate to true so I'm gonna go back here and add three times a in there because we have a true statement 10 is equal to 10 we have a true statement because 15 equals 15 and I'm gonna throw in a third one and uh, let's do another test that's true does C minus 5 equal b. Okay, well c is 15, minus 5 is 10, so does 10 equal b? Yes, it does. So you can do a test. I could have five things in a line here and test all of them. The key is with the and, though, we have to know that that all have to be true to evaluate to true. So when I run this, all three statements are true, so I get a true result here if any one of them are false. So if I just change this C minus 4, now I know that uh, 11 is not equal to 10. So if any one of those is false, I will get a false because it's not all true. And means, is this true? And is this true? And is this true? Are they all true? Okay, now the or, or is a little bit different. The or basically just says either or. Is one of them true? So, one of them true? That's really what it's saying here. So, that's really what we're looking for. So, and says they all have to be true, and or says it's just got to be one of them. If any one of them is true, then I will say true. Now, or is the double, the double bar there, and we'll do a test here. So, we're back to this test. 10 equals 10, and 15 equals 15. They're both true. And remember, the or just says one of them has to be. So it, one of them is, so this should evaluate to true. So there you go, there's true. Now remember, with the or statement, only one of them has to be. Uh, and so maybe I do it this way. Is 3 times a equal to 2? And of course, the answer is no, because 3 times a is 15. 15 is not equal to 2. So this statement right here is a false statement. But this statement here is a true statement. So it says, remember, or says, is one of these true? The answer is yes, this one is. So this whole statement evaluates to true, and my output will still be true down here. So the or statement will evaluate to false when you have nothing true. So I'll just do it this way. Does 2 equal 10? No. Does 15 equal 2? No. Is one of these true? No. So this statement evaluates to false. I'll run this and it evaluates to false. So just to note here in my little comments down here, it's important to understand that when you are doing some tests, and maybe I'll just do it this way, M and N, okay, you have to realize, actually let's do it this way, true and true that is going to evaluate to true when we talk about and okay in any other scenario any other scenario so the only options here are true and false okay that will evaluate to false because and says they have to both be true 
right? And you should know already that I'm going to type two more scenarios here. If I have false and true, okay, that will evaluate to false because with and everything has to be true. Of course, the last scenario with the ands would be false and false, okay? But that isn't going to evaluate to false either. All right, now with the ors, remember our scenarios would be true or true. Okay, and with an or, or says just something has to be true, anything. Just give me anything true, and I will tell you the answer is true. Okay, and then if we had a true or a false, remember it says, is one of these true? Yes, it is, so that's true. You could have a false or a true statement. That would also evaluate to true, because it says, is anything true here? Yep, this one is. Is this or this true? Yep, this one is, so the whole statement is true. And then, of course, we could have a false or a false. And that would evaluate to false. So it's important to understand the differences between these statements. And I've done it with just two things that I'm testing. Remember, we could throw in three, four, five tests. But that's the main idea here with Boolean statements. Hope that helps you a little bit.